Where is your attention? What is your mind set on? Is your mind set on things of the flesh? Or is your mind set on things of the Spirit? You know, you're the one that has to make that decision. And there are some times that things just pop up in your mind that want to appeal to your flesh, and you've got to take authority over it and shift your attention to things of the Spirit. That's you, that's you acting according to your will that does that. That doesn't happen automatically. And the devil is going to try to entice you with things of the flesh. For to be carnally minded is death, and to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Now see, I love this here in verse 6. You know how the Bible is progressive revelation. It has different layers of revelation. I'm going to peel back a layer here and give you another level of revelation here in verse 6. To those of you that uh, like studying the etymology of words and things like that, you'll find that the word carnal is from, uh, it's the Greek word here, but the Latin is also the same. How many, uh, I remember particularly in school, you know, they would, they would put up, you'd, you'd have in your homeroom, on there you would have the menu that, the, of, of, of what was going to be served in the cafeteria. Some of y'all are looking at me real odd. You know, they probably don't do that anymore. But back in the olden days, they used to have, you didn't have choices, okay? I mean, what they served up that day was what you got for lunch. And if you didn't want to eat what they served, you best have brought you something from home. You didn't have a bunch of choices. You didn't have a salad bar. And you didn't have a sushi bar. I know most schools don't have sushi bar, but 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 they, you know they didn't have you you got what they served you on your tray when you went by, and uh, you know you'd go by and they'd ask you if you'd want them to. You know they would say, "Do you want me to cut you a slice of this gravy?" And and, and you know it was, it, it, it was well you know there were certain days that you liked though that, that they had that you know Fridays were hamburgers. We always had hamburgers and French fries on Fridays and those little no bake cookies. Oh man, those things were good. And, and, buddy, people would hoard those cookies. Those things were like currency. You could get a lot of things for, the, for, the, for those no-bake cookies. And the hamburgers were pretty good, and the french fries were pretty good. Some of the other meals weren't so good. And then, every now and then, you'd have, during the wintertime, they'd have posted on there, chili con carne. Now, what that means is, you have chili con with carne meat. So, you're going to have chili with meat now listen those of you folk listening out in texas please don't send me letters about that's not really chili if you put meat and beans in okay I, okay so so anyway that's just what we call it okay chili con carne chili with meat so this word here carnal uh comes from the greek word carne or latin same thing uh, and the word carne means meat. Well, uh, carnally minded, well, your mind, a lot of people think, and they associate it with your head. So it's talking about being a meathead. So don't be a meathead. If you're a meathead, it, 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 it's going gonna, it's gonna to produce death. It's going to produce things. That, don't be a meathead. Be a spiritual head. Be somebody that thinks according to their spirit man. Be led by your spirit man, which we pick up here in verse 7. Because the carnal mind is enmity with God and is not subject to the law of God, nor indeed is. So then who are those who are in the flesh cannot please God. You cannot please God in your flesh. Listening to your flesh, you cannot please God. You know, you could, by the transitive law of equality, Make a connection here. If you're in the flesh, you're not in faith. The Bible says without faith it's impossible to please God. It says right here, if you're in the flesh, you can't please God. Then you can infer from that that if you're in the flesh, you're not in faith. So, who would try to draw you? If you're believing God for something, if you're exercising your faith for something, who would try to draw you into thinking with your flesh? And being enticed with your flesh. The enemy. 